What's up guys, Mecarina Central here. It's come to my attention that there's a few things I would love to see added to the game, so I'm going to do another suggestions video. I think this is either the third suggestions video, maybe the fourth. But anyway, what I'm thinking of doing guys is compiling all of my suggestions into a separate playlist that's on the main Mecarina Central channel. And yeah, these videos are more of a labour of love because they don't normally get huge amounts of views, but they're just, you know, I put a lot of effort into them because I would love to see these things implemented into the game and I'll be forwarding them to the developers. I'm very passionate about Mecarina in general. I think it's just a great game overall and with a few extra features we're slowly getting there to complete the game for global release. This could be one of the best competitive mobile games especially in the mech genre ever made. So guys idea number one. Now this one is a very simple idea. I would just love to see a, a slight hold option so you could drag the mech and then move him along to the next slot. So I'll show you what this looks like now. So we hold him here and then he's going to appear in the cursor then we move him across and we drop him into place and there we go the order is switched around and then once again hold drag and switch back there we go and such a small feature would make organizing your hangar a lot easier guys which then brings me to idea number two I think we really need multiple hangers. I have setups like this one, I have setups like my Panther, two Guardian, two kill shot setups uh, that I would love to just switch in and out but because it takes so long to change the individual components of the mech it just makes it a hassle guys so I would love to see an option here maybe one, two, three, four, five buttons and you can just switch between the hanger bays. Likewise the same in the game you've got the five buttons you can switch between the hangers on the fly it would just make it so much more fun guys for global release now I have suggested this before but I just want to double down on that point just because the first idea flows into this one idea number three guys which I think would make the game so cool and a lot of other people have mentioned to me how they would love to see this in the game is just basically for the arena carnage to stay there the death animations for some of these mechs when they die is just phenomenal but the fact that they disappear kind of detracts from that so I would love it if there was an option for these mechs to just stay on the battlefield you could see the absolute carnage being ensued you just basically what you do is you change them to a when the when the body part rolls along the floor you change it to a static image that way then it saves on server load time just like war robots did then you can walk through them but it just gives you the visual impact now guys for lower end devices it would be as easy as just going to your settings and then you'd have a slider here for high detail mode, boom, turn it on and off. Or the high detail button to just switch off these graphics so that then you're, you're left with the base game that we have now. That way then all these devices could run the game, that solves that problem. And yeah guys, it would just go a huge way to making the game polished, amazing, ready for global release. Idea number four, again on the customization front, I would just love to see some ability to customize your hangar a little bit here guys personalize the um, the hangar bay so you could change the backgrounds swap in stuff put a few trophies on here you know things that you can unlock in the tournaments in the game you know this would just go a huge way to personalizing everyone's experience in the game with a very small amount of cosmetic change and just think of how cool that would be guys we could change the background dark red backgrounds you know uh, a metallic type box I'm getting very passionate about it because everyone sees the same sky background we want to see different things this again is a smaller update that could be added later on in the game just wanted to make sure that it was here guys idea number six this one is just a small update it's basically the kill shot was changed ages ago the, the path tracking was changed with the kill shots dash so sometimes they don't always align they just miss each other i would love the developers to double down on this and just try and fix the path tracking make sure that the collisions happen properly this is going to lead into my next point but a lot of people were asking me about this one to to ask the developers to fix this my next point as well which has been mentioned by a few people when you're in combat and you're you know, you're, you're having a, a firefight, you don't always see when you get hit. So you have to look at your health bar constantly. 
if bigger weapons hit you, in terms of real physics, your mech should rock sideways. So if you took a big shot to the right, your mech should rock right, and likewise to the left, it should rock left. It springs back, obviously, so it doesn't affect your gameplay, but it just allows you to know you've taken a big shot. So uh, a few people have mentioned this to me, that they don't know when they're taking shots. It would be nice to see this implemented into the game, so I'm glad that I've got a chance to put this in the video. Now guys, for ID number 7, this is quite an elaborate point. Basically, I would like to see some visible damage on the mechs, especially when they're getting down to the sort of the mid-range, you know, the yellow bar, and then finally moving on to especially when they're about to go nuclear in the red bar, the last 10% of their health. So yeah, I would like to just see visible damage on the mechs. As they're about to go, they're going to sort of glow off and on, you know, orange, and then finally, obviously, the explosion that we all know and love happens. So yeah, that would just be a good lead up. You can see then when you're damaging these mechs who to go for, so that would be an interesting dynamic added to the game. And finally, idea number eight, guys. I would like to see some leaderboards for 2v2 mode to give us a reason to actually play the mode, as I know it's quite desolate normally. If there's a leaderboard separate for this mode, then it gives people to go in as duos trying to rock the leaderboard. So yeah, that's my suggestion for this one. And lastly guys, this is just an extra one, it's basically they changed the arena to like a red and blue colour scheme. I would like them to have the old version of the arena there as a map selectable as well on the random rotation, so it would be nice to see that. Well guys, as always, that brings us to the end of the video and I just want to say thank you for watching, I hope you guys like these ideas and yeah, if some of these make it into the game, great. As always, check the channel for new content being uploaded every week, thank you guys very much like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.